This is a $100 million car in Drive World, and only nine of these exist in the entire game. And I'm gonna show you the difference between this and a $30 million luxury car, a $10 million race car, a $4 million hyper car, all the way down to this $1 car. This is one of the three starter cars you get to choose from when first starting Drive World. It's super slow, basic, and is only good until you earn this next car, the Rally RS. This car is worth 50,000 and it's definitely a step up from the last car. Earnable by playing the game for 30 minutes, this car is actually really powerful in off-road races. But this doesn't compare to any of the cars you see later in this video. So let's step it up a notch. The next car, well, actually a truck, is worth 10x the amount of this car. This being the Full E. The Full E is an entirely electric semi-truck and is one of the best options when it comes to earning cash in the game. With trailer deliveries, this truck is a beast allowing for over 1 million dollars an hour, making this vehicle worth way more than $500,000. In any other field though, it is awful because of its weight. Almost any other car is better if you're trying to do races or go for top speed, which this next car puts the full E to shame. Or should I say cars because the $1 million goes to the weeklies. Most of the weeklies are worth around 1 million because they're not getting reran. This allows for a lot of money to be made by simply grinding every week for the weekly cars. As you can see, heading into auction world, we just see a car get sold for 1 million and it's a weekly. And there's constant weeklies getting sold in the auction house like this Hellion and this DeLorean. Here's an example of some of the weekly cars. We have the Inferno, the Race Pal, the Turaku Extreme, the beautiful Megabus, and a whole bunch more. Moving on to the next car, we have the Aero 1 GTR. This is a track version of the Aero 1 costing $3 million. And this is our very first hyper car. And using this car, you'll win most of your races. This car feels really good on racetracks and is definitely a good choice for the price. It also just looks amazing. But this still isn't the most expensive car in the game, so let's go to the next car. This next car is the best overall car in races. It's also my most popular video on my channel so make sure to check it out if you haven't already and it's exactly four million dollars this being the yesco this car offers an insane acceleration the second best top speed and it's also probably my favorite handling car in the entire game and this car literally has no competition this car has been in the game for a year and that entire time it's been in the meta meaning if you're looking for a car this is the most reliable choice and if you're wondering this is a setup i used to get it as good as possible And as you can see in the stats, they're almost all maxed out other than handling. But in this video, we're not looking for the best car. We're looking for the most expensive car. So let's move on to the most expensive weekly. This being the Super 4 Extreme. This car is worth 5 million, but I've seen it sell for upwards of $30 million, making this the most expensive weekly in the entire game. But this car is atrocious. The reason this car is so expensive is because it was only ran on the weeklies one time, meaning all the collectors wanted it. And some of them definitely spent prices that weren't worth it. But this still isn't the most expensive car in the game. This next car is worth $12 million more than the Super 4. This car being the Hyper 1. And this car is the most expensive dealership car in the game, costing an astonishing $17 million. This car is definitely going to be the most expensive dealership car for a long time. What makes this car even more special is it has the highest top speed in the game. Meaning if you want the highest top speed car in the game, you're going to have to dish out at least $20 million, which is an amount that most players in the game will ever see in their life. That amount of money would cost 36 6,000 Robux. This is 5,000 more Robux than Headless. But this next car is almost double its price valued at $30 million. This was the first car you could get in the Halloween pass during the Halloween event. Meaning this car hasn't been out since Halloween and a lot of people want it so they're gonna pay a lot of money for it. And this is the peak of Drive World models. It looks absolutely amazing. And this car is truly a flex so let me know down in the comments if you've gotten this car. And how much did you pay for it if you bought it from the auction house? But this was only the first car in the Halloween pass. The second one was the Rotary Evo. It was also the coach, but who really cares about that car? This car, which is called the 787B in real life, has an unbelievable price of $75 million. I don't understand how anybody in the game has this much money to spend. And to get this car, you had to complete the entire Halloween pass after buying it for Robux. Meaning as a free-to-play player, this was impossible to get. And the only way for them to get it is to get it through auctions. But when the Halloween pass was around, the auction house wasn't a thing. Meaning people weren't getting this car to sell it on the auction house, meaning there's a limited amount of 
of them, making this one of the rarest cars in the entire game. And what can make yours even more rare? If you try and sell it and it has zero mods on it, that means it's even more expensive. These can sell for upwards of 10 times the amount of an upgraded Rotary Evo, as you're always able to upgrade a Rotary Evo, but you're not able to remove the upgrades after you put them on, making this the second most expensive car in the game. Another reason people want this car is because it's one of the best sounding cars in the game. But before we get into the most expensive car in the game, I'll give you some honorable mentions. The Zuma was added as an April Fool's joke almost one year ago, and it hasn't been back since. Even though it hasn't been in the game for a long time, it's still super cheap at only like three to five million dollars. The next car we have is the Edler, which was earnable during the Christmas event. The way it worked is for one week, the entire player base had to donate enough money for this car to be unlocked. In real life, this car was a competitor against the Hyper One, but this car is really nothing special in the game and has only turned into a collector's car. The next car we have is a Holiday Inferno. This is the rarest earnable car in the game, and there was only 250 of these that were earnable. And the way to earn this car was being in the top 250 players of deliveries in the Christmas event, meaning you had to put in a lot of hours and most players didn't even get a chance to grind this event, making this car extremely rare. Although if you're wondering, the stats on this is exactly the same as the Inferno, so there's no real use in getting it if you're wanting to use it for races. But this car is a peak of a car collector's journey, and this car is worth around $40 million, which is surprising because the 787 b is less rare and it's more expensive and this just shows how high of a demand the 787b is but without further ado let's move on to the most expensive car in all of drive world this car is valued at 100 million dollars and only nine people have this in the entire game this being the arcane evo The only way to get this car is being a moderator in the Discord server, making this car super limited. And because it's the most expensive car in the game, we have to look at its stats. Its top speed is 315 miles per hour, the power is 1,500 horsepower, braking is 100%, shift speed is 100%, handling is 80%, and nitrous is 100%. Meaning even if this car is worth $100 million, it's still not better than the Yesco. But this car looks amazing, and I think it's the only car in the game that has something that opens up that isn't its doors. And it's also the only car that has white brake lights, and then when you stop, it turns red. And with that being said, I think that's gonna be the end of this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any of these cars, and I'll see you in the next video.